I'm an addict for sneakers. Sneaker addicts! What's good? It's your boy DJ Dells giving you a detailed look at these upcoming Air Jordan 1s that will be releasing on September 1st at most of your retailers. Before I hit you with that detailed, honest review, subscribe if you're new. Plus, hit that little notification bell. This way, when I go live, you'll get notified. Plus, you don't miss out on any future content. We got the Sneaker Attic t-shirts. Pick one up today. Support the channel, especially since YouTube doesn't like to play my ads half the time. Show that love. Link will be in the description box. Now, getting to the shoes. Once again, these will release on September 1st. When I first seen these, my homeboy hit me off with them and said, Yo, check these out. These are coming out soon. I honestly thought it was a woman's exclusive. I know men wear all types of colors, so I'm not trying to stereotype it as that, but I just looked at this and I assumed it was a woman's shoe. But it is actually a men's shoe right here. Let me know if you feel what I'm saying or not. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Leave that in the comment box below. The shoe features leather, has text on both of the mid panels, and it also has some nylon on the toe. The leather is okay, it's not terrible, it's not amazing, like, that's my opinion on the actual leather on the actual shoe. Let's get up close as you can see, check it out, check it out, and there is a look at the Nike spelt on that panel with your swoosh, your wings logo up top, check it out, and then there's a look at the outsole with your Nike branding in the middle right there. Quick look at the back of the shoe, and then we'll look at the medial side. As far as the fit to Jordan 1s, I go true to size. I feel like if you have a wide foot, you still should stay true to size. And if you have a narrow foot, you probably could go down half a size. So that's my opinion on sizing. If you disagree, let me know in the comments what you think as far as sizing. If you agree with me, Cosign it. Leave that in the comment box below too. And on this side panel, you have tons of text. Nike, quality, swoosh, all type of stuff going on over there. Let me know how you feel about all that. Bird's off you on the toe with your leather and your nylon. And then going up, you have your flat laces, your nylon tongue to your classic Nike Air logo. And it does come with another set of laces. And there's a look at the footbed right there. And there you go, a close-up HD look at these upcoming Air Jordan 1s that will be releasing on the 1st of September for $160 at most retailers. Is this shoe hot or not? Leave that in the comment box below. Hot or not? They should be releasing, I'm pretty sure, this style in a bunch of different colorways too. Now, do you like this? Like the text, like the Nike in the middle right there and on the uh, and on the medial side, that vibe. Are you feeling that or not really? Me personally, I'm not really a fan of it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't dislike it, but I'm just not the biggest fan of that. I like my Jordan ones to be traditional. Leave them as is. Leave them how Michael Jordan had them back in the days when he was playing basketball. That's how I like my retros. You don't gotta splash all that extra stuff. I do like how they're doing their thing with the Nike with the Nike Air Force Ones, with all the different patches, with Nike all over the place. I absolutely love that. But when it comes to some Michael Jordan shoes, the retros, the ones that he kicked serious ass in on the basketball court, leave them things alone. Stop messing with these damn Jordan retros. Give us the original stuff, baby. Give us that OG stuff. That's how I feel. If you like when they go above and beyond and do some different stuff, that's cool. You know, leave that in the comments. As I always like to say, I say what I gotta say, and then you say what you gotta say in the comments. So it's to and it's totally cool if you disagree with me. You love when they do all kinds of different stuff. They got these Vogue collaboration shoes. They got a zipper down the middle on the Jordan ones. If you never seen it, go to my blog, the Sneaker Addict. Dot com the sneaker I have tons of images so you could get a detailed look. I don't like them I think they're terrible. There's also that Nigel Air Jordan 1 collaboration that's coming out I think it's horrible. I respect him what he does. He's amazing 
but as far as the sneaker it looks like he just rode his bike in it for like 50 years and it's beat to shit like me the reason why i like buying sneakers and a lot of them is so that i stay with a crispy clean pair of kicks i wouldn't be caught dead wearing that sneaker a beaten up just a beater it's literally looking like a beater i don't understand it but if you think it's dope maybe you think it's art or something like that then you know what you could give me money give me the 160 dollars and i have tons of beaters that look just like that i would love to sell you those so um you could always hit me up if you're looking for that kind of style i could give you the real thing <laughs> Because <laughs> I got them. I got them in my garage. I got ones I cut the lawn in. I got a bunch of different sneakers, man, that you would absolutely love. If you like this Nigel Air Jordan 1, I, I'm sorry, man. I mean, Nigel's, as I said, I think Nigel, what he does is amazing. He's very talented, man. But as far as the sneaker, I just don't get it. I don't get how people could want this shoe when it literally looks like a damn beater. It looks like... <laughs> I just can't comprehend like I thought like the reason why people like me like sneakerheads sneaker addicts why we own so many pairs of sneakers is because we don't want to be caught dead wearing a pair of shoes like what they're selling <laughs> these Nigel Jones oh shit. Um, I'm sorry this has became a roast fest I just um you know I just <laughs> I know this has just became a roast fest but, you know, that's just my opinion. Leave your thoughts on that sneaker too, man. We just having fun here. If you like this kind of vibe, you should check out my Patreon over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. We have our conversations like this. It's so much fun. And it's not on YouTube because YouTube would never allow me to put this kind of content because it's uncensored. I can't say certain stuff that I can say there without them de in my video. So, so definitely join my Patreon. We got 24 episodes an hour long. And, and the shows don't get old, man. People keep checking them out so much fun plus we do a monthly giveaway so if you love giveaways we have a monthly giveaway and on top of that you're helping support the channel so um definitely become a member that will be linked in the description box below and if you're looking for the nigel sneakers all jokes on the side i will have information on my blog over at the sneaker um to try to help you guys out with picking them up Plus all the other releases for tomorrow and every day that things are going on. Go to my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, and I'll definitely try to help you out. And don't take offense if you like those Nigel sneakers. And if for some reason Nigel hears this, you know, I'm just giving my opinion. As I said, I respect what you do. But, you know, with me, the reason why I buy so many shoes is because I like to have a crispy pair. Like, that looks so bad. That sneaker looks so bad. Like... I respect what you guys are trying to deliver, like the vibe, you know, and it does fit you, but I mean, it's just, for someone to spend $160 on a beat ass pair of Jordan 1s is ridiculous to me, it's it's actually humorous, maybe I am making fun of y'all for buying them, you know what I am man, I'll get a lot of thumbs downs on this man, You y'all gotta be crazy to buy that damn sneaker, I'm sorry, I'm gonna just go full force, wow, unbelievable, I mean it's just so hideous, like I just don't get it, like I just, I would never be caught dead wearing a, wearing a pair of sneakers that look that dirty, like no way i'm sorry you know as someone that's into sneakers you would never see me wear something that looked like that maybe if i was doing work work on the car or you know some yard work or some shit like that man i ain't rich and famous where i got gardeners i do my own shit i cut my own lawn you know honestly maybe if you were like a big fan of him like you love watching him ride the bike and this and that and you just want a piece of like something to his like because you support him then i can understand copping it like i can't understand copping it if that's the case that's probably the only way i can see it where i can understand it for real but uh man i'm gonna end this video right here once again if you like this kind of vibe definitely join the patreon <laughs> patreon.com backslash dj Dells. and hey pick up my newest sneaker addict t-shirt 
They're amazing tees. You'll love them. High quality, and they ship worldwide. Fits true to size. All that's linked in the description box. Bang that thumbs up button if you had fun with me. And I'll catch you guys, I'm pretty sure, tomorrow with a new video. New video.